What is going on guys? So in this uh, video I would like to go over uh, some of the many uh, flat platform of uh, embedded uh, development board that's out there. Uh, so the first one that I would like to go over is this um, my first uh, development um, platform. Um, well I got the kit from the uh, NerdKits guy it's a great little kit but it's around eighty dollars but it's really worth it so um, well this is not the how it comes uh, with the kit this is something I made afterwards but uh, the kit comes with the 18 mega 168 uh, but I have converted it to an 18 mega 328p and uh, basically it comes with an LCD uh, graphic, L um, just an LCD, character LCD and uh, a um, breadboard a breadboard but I just hook up to this uh, perk 4 and then this is a relay program that I have uh, running right now and some of you guys are probably familiar with the the Arduino kit. Um, uh, this is the board is really uh, very inexpensive. It's around 20 bucks, and it also runs on the 328p uh, AVR my controller. The only thing that I think, um, well, I, I don't know, but this the C programming that is very. This is very pure uh, with respect to C programming. Uh, but this one is like the process uh, uh, programming language so it's not really straight up C so that's the one thing I, I really didn't like it's kinda I, I don't want to say this but it's kinda dumbed down so I guess it's good for beginners just want to get uh, things rolling but if you get this you won't understand the hardware uh, as much as so something as the NERD kit because uh, the NERD kit comes in uh, with all the components and you have, to, you have to put it together and once you put it together you actually learn about all the uh, components and you learn how to read data sheets and you will become very uh, sufficient uh, the the next board that I bought is the actually the net we know here uh, I bought the $60 version so I have my Ethernet uh, hooked up. Um, I haven't really worked on uh, worked with it, but this one it, it, uh, you can program using uh, Visual Studio C Sharp, and they have the framework for this embedded uh, device. It's called Micro uh, um, Micro something framework, the Micro framework. Uh, and this is really uh, well designed. I mean, you looked at it as they really spend a lot of time on this. I mean, uh, the f fabrication is just very, uh, very nice. I really love the design. Well, and and then the next uh, board that I, b I bought um, is the Fest Panda 2. This one also runs on the uh, C sharp micro framework uh, with the uh, slightly different libraries, uh, but uh, it does not come with the uh, Ethernet, which means it gonna cost about half the price, around thirty, thirty-four dollars. I bought from Amazon, and this one has uh, two UARTs. Uh, yep, and two cans and uh, a bunch of analog to digital converters, um, uh, po po with small digital pins, po with modulation pins. And a ton of idols. Okay, that's the one thing I really like about this one versus the net we know is the uh, number of idols. This one is they just wasted a bunch of idols here. They just did not connect to the uh, the female headers here. Yeah. So before, um, well, uh, the design on the net we know is really uh, I think it's, it's better than the. Uh, uh, the Fest Panda 2, but as far as uh, uh, cost and then 
a numbers of uh, features here. Uh, I, I think for a beginner, it's probably best to start with the Fest Panda because you're not gonna be working with the Ethernet if you're gonna, you know, first start off, you know, first couple of steps. This is kind of difficult. Another thing about the uh, Ethernet is that uh, there's a website called uh, PackHub, and it, it uh, gives you free. Uh, a free account that you can actually upload data, live data, to their server, and you can actually look at it as a, uh, a graph, a live graph. Okay. The the um, the next board that I bought is the uh, uh, STM32 uh, F4 um, development board. This one's the ARM uh, based on the ARM. Uh, microprocessor um, and basically I bought this because it has the uh, floating point uh, unit that um, I don't know if I'm gonna need it yet but it's just very cheap and it has a bunch of features here uh, it has a um, accelerometer on board here uh, it can be used as a USB host just like the Fest Panda uh, the Netwino does not have uh, USB host though. That's <laughs> so uh, you have Ethernet here, no no USB host. You do not have Ethernet over uh, here, but you have a USB host option. Over here, mm, I really haven't really messed with this the one, but um, they have push buttons here, uh, accelerometer, this uh, one accelerometer here. And oh yeah, um, this one runs on about um, 100 and something megahertz, so it's pretty uh, pretty fast. The uh, the Panda board is about 70 megahertz. Uh, this one is uh, 60, 50 megahertz, I think. The uh, Arduino is uh, of course it depends on clock, but as far as the maximum you can go is uh, 20 megahertz, but the clock they have right now is 16 megahertz. And um, you, if you've seen my other videos, I have my 18 mega 64, uh, 6, 644 PA here, and I'm running on 14.7 megahertz, just like the NERKIT setup. Um, well, you, I'm not going to really talk about this one. It's a homemade PCB board, uh, development board, to evaluate the. Uh, AT Mega 644. Uh, the last board that I actually I bought this is quite expensive for, but I'm not I'm not sure it's worth it uh, right now because I just bought it because uh, I was planning to do some research over the summer with the professor. Well, he's 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 talked about how this uh, parallax uh, propeller board, uh, the uh, the mic controller has eight cores uh, or they call it eight cogs. So I will be learning how to uh, do actual parallel programming using the the spin programming language, which uh, can be a little tricky since I've heard a lot of stories about it. So, but the eight cores really got me. That's why I bought this for um, forty-five dollars on Mauser. This is a gadget gangster board. Um, well, it has the uh, serial I square C and stuff the documentation is not that great uh, uh, it's not much on the data sheet but you can actually con uh, contact the people I guess and they'll tell you more so uh, I, this is the one that uh, uh, this is the uh, start quick start uh, board uh, I haven't actually opened this one yet uh, but this this one is only like 15 bucks so not not much here um, I guess uh, in this video, I just want to go over all these boards I either made or bought. Uh, spend quite a bit of money, but it's uh, quite worth it. Learn a lot, but I definitely recommend. Um, uh, I have to say, if you have money, get the Nurkit. Spend some time on that, and then you really appreciate the Arduino afterwards. If you go through the the boot camp over here with the Nurkit. I'm actually a very uh, big Nurkit, uh, Nurkits fan.
So I'll cut this one off right here. Thanks for watching.